Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 37. In this video, we will discuss the advanced puzzle solving technique called XYZ Wing. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. We have highlighted an XYZ Wing pattern to explain what it is we are looking for in the puzzle. The first piece of terminology is the cell highlighted in light purple. This is called the pivot cell of the XYZ Wing. Each cell in a Sudoku puzzle is part of three different houses. For the pivot cell shown in light purple, the three houses are shown with a red, green, and blue outline. Each XYZ wing will have two additional cells called pincers located in one of the red, green, and blue houses. The two pincer cells for the XYZ wing are highlighted in light green and are now outlined in black. The two pincer cells must be in different houses from each other, but within houses shared with the pivot cell for the XYZ wing to work. The kill zone is defined by any cells being shared by the pivot cell and the two pincer cells. In this example, the cells in our kill zone are highlighted in light red as shown. The target candidate to kill in our kill zone is defined by the possible candidate shared in all three cells making up the XYZ wing, which is highlighted in dark purple. In this example, the target candidate to kill is the possible one candidate in cell 4, 4, which is highlighted in dark red. Now let's consider the way the XYZ wing logic works. There are three possible test scenarios to demonstrate based on which value we choose in the pivot cell. The first scenario, we have a 1 in the pivot cell as shown. This results in our target candidate in our kill zone being killed. The second scenario, we have a 7 in the pivot cell as shown. This also results in the target candidate in our kill zone being killed. And the third scenario, we have a 9 in the pivot cell as shown. This results in our target candidate in our kill zone being killed. Since there must be a 1, 7, or 9 in our pivot cell, we must conclude the target candidate in our kill zone is a non-possible candidate. Now that you understand what an XYZ wing is and how it works, we will show you how to find one in the puzzle. When looking for an XYZ wing pattern, the first thing we do is highlight all the cells having three possible candidates as shown. The first cell we would consider for the pivot cell is now highlighted in light purple and outlined. We will then consider each cell having two possible candidates in block 2 as our first pincer cell. We have selected our first pincer cell which is now highlighted in light green and outlined. Note that each pincer cell must be composed of the same possible candidates as found in our pivot cell. We are now looking for either a cell having a possible 1, 2 or 1, 3 in the other shared house making up row 1. We find what we are looking for in cell 1, 2, which is now highlighted in green with a black outline. We now have a valid XYZ wing in our puzzle. Next, we need to identify the kill zone. The kill zone is now shown in light red. This time, there are no possible candidates to target in our kill zone. We move to the next cell to consider as our first pincer cell, which is now highlighted in light green with a black outline. We are now looking for either a cell having a 1, 2, or 2, 3 as possible candidates in the other shared house making up row 1. We do not find the second pincer cell having the proper values to complete an XYZ wing pattern. We shift our attention to the house making up column 5. We do not find the second pincer cell having the proper values to complete an XYZ wing pattern. We move to the next potential pivot cell having three possible candidates, which is now highlighted in light purple and outlined. We try the next potential first pincer cell, now highlighted in light green and outlined in black. This first pincer cell will not work with the current pivot cell because the possible candidates do not match. We move to the next potential first pincer cell, now highlighted in light green and outlined in black. This first pincer cell will not work with the current pivot cell because the possible candidates do not match. We move to the next pivot and first pincer cell combination but the contents of the cells do not match for what we need to form a valid XYZ wing. We keep searching. The possible candidates do not match. The possible candidates do not match. We continue searching with block 4, but there are no valid XYZ wings with a pivot in block 4 because there are no cells having only two possible candidates. We move to the next pivot and first pincer cell combination but the contents of the cells do not match for what we need to form a valid XYZ wing. We keep searching. This time we find a match. We are now looking for a cell having a 1, 7 or 1, 9 as possible candidates in the other shared house making up row 4. We find cell 4, 8 having a 1, 7 as possible candidates. 
We now have a valid XYZ wing in our puzzle. Next we need to identify the kill zone. The kill zone is now shown in light red. We have identified a possible candidate to target in our kill zone. We visually validate the logic. We remove the non-possible candidate from the puzzle. Time to test what you have learned. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Again, pause the video and find the parts of the XYZ wing pattern. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Again, pause the video and find the parts of the XYZ wing pattern. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Again, pause the video and find the parts of the XYZ wing pattern. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Again, pause the video and find the parts of the XYZ wing pattern. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find the XYZ wing pattern. Identify the pivot cell, the two pincer cells, the kill zone, and non-possible candidates to be removed. Here is a hint. The block containing the pivot cell and first pincer cell is now outlined in black. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 37.
Thank you for watching.